Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and this is I Am Love Church, and the reason for the season. I want to start off with this message and have you picture a fountain or a faucet or something that's flowing water like a river. And just imagine just this love, peace, kindness, patience, hope, all the wonderful gifts that we feel emotionally flowing out of this water flowing through from this fountain, from this river, and it never stops, right? I want you to picture that fountain giving life to all of creation, the universe, the stars, the planets, the earth, you and me, right? And it's the only source of power, the only source of living water living life. It's the only source. Now, I want you to imagine this source of life having a personality, being um, real, like us, like you and me. And this source gives us a choice. It says, if you worship me, I will give you peace. I will give you Joy, I will give you love, I will give you truth, I will give you anything that you want that fills your soul. And the sprinkles laid on top of this cake is the physical things that I'll give you as well. Now imagine that we don't choose to worship that source of life, and we choose to worship the possessions that we've been given. Right? It's interesting because now we're dehydrated. We're dehydrated from peace. We're dehydrated from feeling loved. We're dehydrated from truth. We're dehydrated. We are starving and we are dried out. Now, if that's how you feel, I want to unveil what's really happening here. There's only one God. And he created everything. He created the stars, the heavens, the planet, the moons, you and me, all the animals around us. He created everything. He created to be good. And he separated what was good from bad. And his wisdom and his character. And he's a person. He is the everlasting fountain. We call him Father. And he gave us a choice. And he says... You can worship me and I can fully fulfill you in your heart and your soul will be satisfied. Or you could worship possessions, money, your own identity. You could worship movie stars, whatever you want to worship. You could worship the stars. You could worship astrology or whatever. But I created all those things so you can enjoy them. I did not create them so you can worship them. But if you turn to me and turn to my son, I will forgive you of all your mistakes and I will show you what the real meaning of life is. And he was born around this month for you to know the truth, for you to come to him, for you to be healed, to be forgiven, for you to have peace, for you to have the greatest gift The first gift was given to you was life, to have a choice. The second gift was to make a choice. The third gift was to accept Jesus. And that is the greatest gift. And that is the reason for the season. And with that, I'm going to quote for you some Bible passages. In Mark chapter 8, verse 34, Jesus says, For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? For what can a man give in return for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, 
of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. How do I put this in perspective? Do you love people more than you love your possessions? Do you love God more than you love anything? Do you know him? Do you have a relationship with him? And he says, if you don't, you have not found life, but you found that which is death. I'm going to read you another verse. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers, rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For as yet the Spirit had not been given because Jesus was not yet glorified. God did not give you his Spirit of life this everlasting water because you have not put away your idols and worshipped and lifted up the name of Jesus. It means you're still living in the world. You're living for money. You're living for sex, drugs, alcohol. You're living for yourself. You're not living for God's purpose. So therefore, he says, you have no life in you. But if you put away your adulterous ways, I will forgive you. And if you lift up and live for Jesus, I will show you not only that I am God, being Jesus, not only that I have life and have peace and, and all the things that you really want here. Nothing physically can satisfy you. Only he says, I can satisfy you. And with that, I'm going to read to you one more. And I'll end on this one. This is Romans 10, chapter, chapter 10, verse 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Out of your mouth you confess. And believe in your heart what Jesus did for you, what God did for you, was for free. You can't earn it. And just by believing in him and living for him for the rest of your life, you will have what you've always really wanted. You are a creation. You are not the creator. You don't know what you were designed for. And you have no purpose unless you know who designed you and why you're here. And I came to give you that as a message so you can get the greatest gift that was given to you for this reason. This is the season that Jesus was born to give you a new life. He knows each and every one of you. He knows you by name. He created you and stitched you in your mother's womb. And he has a plan for you. Do not worship possessions. Do not worship idols. Don't worship yourself. He says, come to me and I will show you the real meaning of life. And you will finally have what you've been longing for. Love. This is true love. That God so loved the world. He so loved you that he gave his only son to take upon your punishment so you could be set free and you can dwell in heaven where the treasures never end and they're greater than the possessions of this world. So I ask you to pray this prayer with me. And bow your heads. Jesus, forgive me. I'm a sinner. And I know you came to earth to take my place from the punishment that was due to me. God, I believe this 
and I receive this. I'm so sorry for worshiping possessions. And I want you to come into my heart and give me a new life. In Jesus' name, amen. You might need to watch that one again. You don't got to say it verse for verse, word for word. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Forgive me, God. Now watch your life get changed. But it's not going to happen overnight. You have to build a relationship with God. There's a holy Bible everywhere you go. This is how much God loved you. This is a testimony of how much. All you have to do is believe it. If you believe what I'm saying, get yourself a Bible or get that Bible you've been wanting to open or that's in your house or around and read it. It's unconditional. You cannot earn it. Nothing in this world could please you. You are a child of God. You are not your mistakes. You are not what people say about you. You are loved more than you could ever imagine. And you were bought with a price that you or no one could pay with blood. Jesus paid your debt so you can know him. I thank you for watching. God bless.